What is going on, lunatics? Guys, there's a lot of you that came here, you found me, and you invested in Luna Classic. And I haven't been giving you updates for a while. So I thought, since people started to ask me what's going on with Luna Classic, maybe I'll give an update here and just let you know where the whole ecosystem stands. And I'll tell you why I'm not producing content and stuff like that, and we'll go from there. Uh, first and foremost, the price action, and as you can see right here, there's just been a, a real sort of waning and dip in the price action uh, from, uh, you know, I can take you guys back on a journey here to all the times that I was calling it exactly where it was going to be. But uh, the important thing is where we are right now. And there is a waning of enthusiasm and interest that's going on with Terra Luna Classic. And you might be asking yourself right now, does that mean that the token is dead or does that mean that the coin is dead? And the answer to that is no, it's not. It's in no way dead. In fact, it's everything that I ever said about a big revival, everything I've ever said about how this thing is going to have that moonshot, nothing's changed. The fundamental issue has been timing. Now, I'm going to take you back on a journey. Going back into last year, a lot of our conversation was about things that were going to be done on time because of Terror Rebels. Now, because this is a DAO, there's been a couple of things that have happened. Uh, among them, you know what? Let's get into that in, in just a few minutes as we wrap it up. Let me take you through some of the price action over here. Uh, USTC, another big uh, drop off. And, and guys, if you remember here, I, I had given you uh, this little channel here and told you that I, you know, I did believe that this little channel here would kind of serve us very well and that we would probably get a spike up to one of these levels again. And we just, we, we didn't see it. it. It just didn't happen. And no matter how you slice it, there's just been a breakdown of price action. And we're going to talk about why that is as well. Uh, but uh, over here in station, uh, my delegations have remained the same. I haven't done anything. I did pull the delegations just uh, today, by the way, because uh, I'm going to restake them with somebody. So um, not just just the the staking rewards. I'm going to stake with somebody else. I'm not. I don't intend on going anywhere. I don't intend on doing anything. So uh, I'm good where I am. Uh, price action though: thirty three million dollars in trade volume, down significantly. Market cap, 560. Now, guys, when I got into this, it was 764 million. So we're down 200. Um, and there's been a lot of things that have that have taken place. We're going to talk about that uh, very shortly. Terra Luna Classic, uh, the USTC project over here, 5.8 million, 172 million market cap. Just, you know, um, and the fact is, the, the, the simple fact is we're not burning enough tokens for there to be uh, too much going on. There's a letdown feeling that's happening. Uh, now, as far as news goes, one of the most substantial and consequential improvements to the Lunk chain will take place on May 31st. The Luna Classic chain will upgrade to Cosmowasm version 1.1.0, and that will add parity to Luna 2.0, additional access to the Cosmos ecosystem, new and valuable utility. So now, if we take the uh, if we take the Terra Rebels website and we come over here to the Terra Rebels, if you guys remember this, uh, there was a uh, uh, there used to be a roadmap here that we would look at. And that we could uh, go check it out and we could see exactly what was going on, right? Well, that's gone. Uh, we don't have a roadmap anymore. Uh, that has disappeared, of course, uh, over time. Uh, things just kind of change. And what's changed is uh, they've been out, they've been in, they've been out, they've been in, they've been out, they've been in. And that comes down to a couple of which we'll get into in just a second. Uh, Luna Classic over here, you can see there's still support. There's still a lot of people uh, going around and looking, uh, sitting on your lunk bag does nothing as a community of a decentralized change. It's our job to contribute a, to creating a healthy economy. Um, it, I don't have a job, by the way. I'm just an investor. All I have to do is hodl and see what happens. Uh, I'm not here to transact on the network. I'm just here to hold on to it and see what happens. But this is the big development here. And this is uh, not just Cosmowasm 1.1.0, but the lunk developer, Ed Kim, has teased an AI app chain called Block Entropy. And this is a sheer burn mechanism through an AI app. And if you read through this, you're going to see machine learning inference tasks like image diffusion, text language models, and even be able to generate music. So uh, basically what you're seeing is uh, if you want to interact with an image creator, uh, a chatbot, or... Uh, a music generator, then you can use Luna Classic in order to do it, and it's going to burn the Luna Classic. And there'll be some more functions that are available as it starts to upgrade and update. And that's a pretty cool thing. 
uh, basically they're they're telling you that there's an AI bot coming out and that'll be nice. Uh, but let's get into the issues here. In the course of, I want to say about eight months now, uh, we've barely burned a hundred billion tokens. Um, and that would mean that there's going to be years upon years upon years upon years just to get to the point where we burn one trillion token. Now, you've seen me do math. You've seen me do a lot of different things to try to come up with what is going on with Luna Classic and give you uh, these time frames. And these time frames were based on the estimates of people who were working behind the scenes that were working diligently to make sure that burns happen. Now, taking you back in time, Zeradar, who was in charge for a long period of time, had no interest whatsoever in the burn process. His passion was for building and creating an ecosystem, not on burning the tokens. Alex Forshaw was kind of in the middle, and Ed Kim was all about burning. So you had this triple threat, if you will, that had vastly different views, and you know, the question was which one was going to take effect. And the one that really took effect was Zeradar in that the uh, system was being rebuilt and, and built again. Well, as with anything that you allow uh, people, and in this case, you have to be honest with yourself, DGENs. A lot of DGENs from DeFi spaces ha came in here because they saw the crash and they thought they could make money off of it. So the DGENs came in. And the DGEN said, when pump? Why no pump? Why isn't this thing moving? And they started to get involved in the DAO process and the voting process. And now we have a, a DAO-centric situation in which the best path forward for the project is being jeopardized by the DAO system constantly. This led to Zeradar leaving. Now, you can argue whether that's a good or bad thing because you think he's an asshole on Twitter. But that doesn't have anything to do with ability to program and ability to uh, make a, a computer do something. That, that has nothing to do with it. That's simply somebody's emotions. Um, so to you, if you don't like Zeradar because uh, he, he said things that you don't like, oh, I'm sad. Are you going to cry? That's ridiculous. So I'm basically sitting on the sidelines kind of watching. Uh, if you watch my channel, then you know I've not stopped. Uh, from time to time, I cover Luna Classic, and I tell you guys what's going on as best I can or as best I may from the information that I'm prov provided and, and that I get. But um, I, I do cover a lot of different things. So if you want to tune in, I'm on at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Central Standard Time in America every Monday through Friday, and we can talk Luna Classic. If you come in and you support Luna Classic and I see you in the chat supporting Luna Classic, then we're talking Luna Classic. If you support a different token, I'm we're talking about a different token. If you want to, if we want to learn together what's going on in this community and in this uh, and in this space, then that's what we'll do. But the support for Luna Classic starts to wane, and you know I'm looking for eyes on the prize for what I'm doing as an investor. I'm interested in the success of Luna Classic as someone who does marketing on YouTube or on Twitter, it, it's whoever's paying the bills and nobody at Luna Classic pays the bills. Uh, I mean, I can tell you this, uh, my, I've, I've sent out multiple times the Terra address, my, my Terra wallet address. Nobody's even made a donation. Uh, people are staking, people are doing plenty of stuff. I didn't because I was asked not to do and become a validator because that would jeopardize my objectivity. So there's really no bonus, if you will, or, or incentive, if you will, for, for what I'm doing. So, and, and I just want to be honest with you, uh, at the end of the day, this is about me running a business and, and the business is the people who pay for me to do business. So, um, if I don't cover it all the time, it's not because I don't care, not because I don't want it to succeed, but it's because I've got people who are paying me to do certain things. So I can't, uh, I don't physically have the time yet. Uh, so, um, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, I think that we're going to be in the long term fine and I'll make, I'll make updates as we go along. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I'm not the type of person that just takes off. I hodl and I'm watching every single day. So, but again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, if you like the content, hit the like button. If you believe in what I'm doing here or what I'm talking about here, then leave a comment down below. Uh, if not, then hit the dislike button. It's all engagement and I appreciate it no matter what. Um, subscribe, unsubscribe, you know, whatever. Um, but I'm going to talk about the best cryptocurrencies that are out there for you every single day on my live streams. We're going to talk about Bitcoin. We're going to talk about Ethereum. We may or may not talk about Luna Classic, but I appreciate the support from each and every one of you. And I'm sure we're going to be seeing each other a lot more soon enough. This is not financial advice. My name is Believes. I am always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again soon. Check. Okay. Yeah.
Whoa, another shot of the bullet. Loaded, got complex, cocking and pulling. That bottleneck look like the Loch Ness. What are we doing? I'm about to fall out, boy, and the proofs in the pudding. So, can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I ain't mean to call you that. I might.